Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal brought to you by CodeKarate.com. This is episode number 11, and yesterday we talked about the Drupal core contact module. Today we are going to look at the web form module, and this can also be used to make even more customized contact forms. It's generally for surveys as well. Um, a few things about it. There, there are probably some developers who would say web form maybe shouldn't be used for simple contact forms because a web form is actually content in the database of your site so it's a little harder to version control and to move between a development, staging, live or production environment. But that being said, a lot of developers use it for contact forms. I do as well in many of the sites I build, not all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how we can do the same thing we did yesterday with the web form module and how it can be used to make the contact form even more customized. So you can see here was our previous contact form using the contact module. We're going to download the web form module. And it was downloaded, so we'll go ahead and drop into the modules page. Scroll way down to the bottom, and you can see there's the web form module. We're using version 3.18. So we will save that. And now we will go in to, well, we'll go back down here. We'll click on configure and you can select different content types for uh, the web form to be enabled on and what the web form allows you to do is allows you to build out a form that users can then submit on your site It also you can select which type of fields you want the default email address and there's just a whole bunch of other things you can select from we're going to leave all that stuff at the default and we're going to go to add content and we're going to add a web form we're going to call this contact form 2 you can put whatever you want in the body and we'll go ahead and save it and now you can see there's a view edit a web form tab a results tab and in the web form tab there's a couple sub tabs the first one is form components the first one we're going to do is going to keep it pretty similar we're going to say we need your name and it's going to be a text field. You have a bunch of different options here. After adding that, you can put in default value. You can put in a description. If you want it mandatory. A whole bunch of different options that just control the settings on that text field that's going to be displayed to the user. An email address field so we can get back to them after they submit the contact form. You can see we're going to leave the rest of this pretty default. And we'll select a text area for the message. Go ahead and add that. Go ahead and save it. Now we're going to go ahead and view our contact form. You can see it's pretty basic. The body text goes here. You have the name, email address, and message. You can also see we have comments. We're just going to turn those off. So we'll turn comments off to clean it up a little bit. Now you can see we have a pretty basic contact form. I'm going to hop over to another browser. First, let's look at the URL. It's node 13. I'm going to change that URL to be contact 2. So now it's contact 2. So I'm going to hop over uh, to a new browser contact to and I'm gonna go there and you can see I have a contact form I'm going to go ahead and submit this it says thank you your submissions been received you can go back to the form and pretty basic so we'll hop back over as a logged in user and we'll actually go to the results you can see that there's one that has been submitted you can then view that result it tells you the name, email address, message you can delete it, you can edit it pretty standard stuff um, 
there's also different ways to look at this. So if you want to see an analysis, and this is what really works out well for surveys and things of that sort where you actually need to analyze the data that's been submitted. You can download it as a bulk file, either a text-based file or an Excel file. You can also clear out the results. Um, the one other important thing we're going to go over is sending emails from it. You can select that you want to send an email to, we'll say myself, you can select the subject, we'll just leave that a blank, but you can also use fields from the form itself as part of the subjects. You can create an email template where you can use the values from the email. You can see there are tokens here that you can drop in and use. And it allows you to select which ones are included. And that's pretty much all you need and now you will receive a an email message as soon as someone submits that form so you can be notified that someone has submitted the contact form on your site. You could also send an email to the email address they enter in the email address field. You could say something like thanks for contacting me and we'll get back to you as soon as we can or something. You know, something like that. And there's also um, there's just quite a few things you can do in here that really makes it very flexible for building out forms of all different types, whether it's a survey, a questionnaire, or a simple contact form like this. And it, next time we're going to go into some, some of the other fields that are in the web form module, some of the other, or s some of the custom email things you can do and just look at how you can customize the email a little bit. And we will, you know, pick it up tomorrow. Thanks for watching.